and violence and other kind of violence. Police tonight to end the gun violence following the shooting death of a college basketball star. Police are still searching for suspects, but the community is demanding change. CBS 2's Allie Bauman live tonight in Harlem where she spoke with the victim's father. Allie. <clears throat> Maurice and Christine, Darius Lee's father, told me his son was a good kid who could accomplish anything he put his mind to. He was home from college for the summer with just one semester to go before graduating. He dreamed of one day playing for the Knicks, but sadly his dreams and life were cut short last night when Lee became another innocent victim of gun violence. Family holds each other in agony Monday morning, 21-year-old Darius Lee. This is something different, but nobody expected. that. The guy don't curse. He don't hang out. He don't drink. He don't do anything. He just played PS5 and played basketball. Lee was one of nine people shot overnight on Fifth Avenue and 139th Street. The scene so close to where Lee lived that his sister heard the shots and instinctually feared the worst. She heard the shots. She called him. He didn't answer. She called him again. He didn't answer. His best friend called his mom and said, I'm sorry. She said, sorry for what? He, he's like, I'm sorry. She said, Darius was shot. The block was crowded before the shooting. Police said people were out having a barbecue, and a group was also filming a music video there when investigators believe some kind of dispute broke out. A gun was later recovered at the scene. Get some resources here to stop this violence. That's right. Because our people are dying, and we're tired of it. The latest NYPD data shows that shootings citywide are down 10% so far this year compared to last, but up 47% compared to two years ago. When is enough is going to be enough? We don't want to see another mother bury another child. Lee was a star basketball player for St. Raymond High School for Boys in the Bronx. From there, he got a full ride to Houston Baptist University and was supposed to graduate in December. His coach there says Lee was a great player, but an even better person. He was just one of those guys that everybody loved. What's your message to whoever did this? I hope justice is served. And I hope that the NYPD do their job and find that those people that killed my son. Those other eight victims are expected to survive. Again, investigators have not made any arrests and ask anyone with information to call the NYPD. We're live in Harlem. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. We turn now to that mass shooting uptown. A barbecue in Harlem River Park ended in gunfire early this morning. One person was killed, eight others injured. Police still trying to figure out how many shooters were involved and what the motive might be. The one person killed, 21-year-old Darius Lee, a basketball player with a full scholarship at Houston Baptist University. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett spoke with Lee's family. He is in Harlem tonight. N.J.? That's right, Sandra, outside the family's apartment here on 138th Street here in Harlem, uh, where relatives are consoling one another, mourning the latest uh, innocent bystander to be shot and killed to be a victim of gun violence here in New York. A life cut short by random bullets fired into a crowd. Outside the family's apartment, grief and disbelief. Relatives and friends embracing one another with tears in their eyes over the sudden tragic death of Darius Lee. Lee was just 21 years old, a basketball star on a full scholarship at Houston Baptist University, struck with a stray bullet and killed. Tiara Lee is Lee's sister. He's an innocent kid that's in school playing basketball. He cared about basketball. He decided to stay outside one day and 
this what happens. It happened at 12.30 in the morning. A barrage of gunfire set off a stampede as hundreds of people ran for their lives from a park along the Harlem River Drive. They were attending a late night barbecue organized by a local rapper and publicized in social media. Investigators now believe that among the crowd were rival gang members, that there was some sort of dispute and the men opened fire on one another. This gun was recovered at the scene, but police believe there were others. There were a total of nine people shot, two females and seven males. A 21 year old male was transported to Lincoln Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. Many, if not all of the victims are believed to have been innocent bystanders, including Darius Lee. And police sources say there is no evidence so far that the organizer played any role in the shooting. NYPD Commissioner Keishan Sewell. And while we are making some headway against violence, we have a lot of work to do, but we need help alongside the entire criminal justice system. Hunter Janacek is Lee's former college teammate. He loved his mother, loved his sister, loved his family. We always knew about what Darius had going on back home. He's such a loving man. Uh, just an ultimate example of how to be a human being on this earth, and it's so sad that he had to go the way he did. I don't think it's going to stop. This, Why not? This has been going on for how long? It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. He's a great kid. He's going for no reason. As the chief said a moment ago, eight others were wounded in the shootout. I'm told all of them are expected to survive. No arrests in this case, at least not so far. Gang violence.